Pokemon Go got released on July 5th for Android and iOS. Right away you'll notice it's already different from other Pokemon games. All other Pokemon games are on Nintendo consoles. This means Niantech, the company who made Go, is most likely wanting to switch things up. And so far that's exactly what it's done. Pokemon Go is categorized as a real-world, augmented reality game. What this means is that it uses real-world places as focal points of the game and uses where you physically are as the map. As soon as you boot up the game, you'll be greeted by Professor Willow and you'll get to create your character. For now, the character creation menu is very simple and doesn't offer too much variety. But Pokemon games are known for doing this anyway. Hopefully Niantech changes this in the future. You'll get the option to catch some of the classic starters, either Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. From here on out, you can explore the real world, which uses Google Maps GPS to track where you are and to catch new Pokemon and level them up. To level up Pokemon, you can transfer duplicates to Professor Willow. Once you do, you can power up the Pokemon you already have. Each time you catch a certain Pokemon, you get a candy specific to that type you caught. You'll need a certain amount of candy to evolve your Pokemon. Once you get the hang of it and get the urge to become more adventurous, you can visit a local landmark, typically churches, universities, etc. And look for Pokestops which give you items and XP towards leveling up your character. Once you've explored for a while and reached level 5, you can take part in gym battles. There are three teams which you can choose from, red, yellow, and blue. Once you pick, you can either rule the gym or become a challenger and conquer it. Whoever rules the gym leaves their Pokemon there to battle. You can train at your team's gym by fighting their Pokemon increasing your gym's prestige. The higher the gym's prestige, the harder it is for opposing teams to beat it. If it reaches zero, the gym becomes open again. The idea behind gyms are super awesome, but the combat leaves much to be desired. Basically, you can dodge and attack using the touchscreen. There are no moves like the rest of the Pokemon games. But, Go is looking to be fast paced, so I can see why they're trying to do it. But myself, as well as a lot of my friends, wish the combat was a little more strategic. Since Pokemon are different types, like water or grass, certain Pokemons can be found relative to their type. If you're looking for a water type Pokemon, you should look close to a body of water. Because the game is brand new and so many people are trying the game, the servers are very unstable and it crashes often. This is really unfortunate because after all, we all just want to play. Because it's a mobile free-to-play game, there are going to be microtransactions to boost your character and Pokemon, but so far they don't seem to be too intrusive. Have fun with the game and go explore places you normally wouldn't. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a nice twist on the Pokemon franchise that will hopefully work out its kinks and become a very great, fun-to-play game in the future. We hope you enjoyed our video and let us know what you think about Pokemon Go in the comments below. This was Mach 1, thanks for watching.